What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Center for Stingray Biology and a happy Easter for everybody. Okay, I know all the kids are off on school break right now and I got a video for you guys to keep your kids busy. The video the other day, we had pups, right? And it seems like whenever the pups start to come, they just keep on coming. So we have another batch born today and it's again out of this big system right here. We're gonna pull those pups up now and uh, check them out, all right? So let me shut off the air pump and let's get started. And at the same time, I will also give you an update on the pups from the other day. They haven't started eating yet, but uh, should be soon. And so, to, oh, they got scared. So again, it wasn't a very big litter. We have a guy with a birth defect over here. You see his tail is kind of like wrapped around like that, like a hook or like he was cramped up. He's swimming kind of funny too. The way he's moving, his back is not moving at all. But anyway, we will pull that out. And um, also, like the previous batch, there was an issue with a stillborn, okay? But we will get to that in a little bit. So let's start pulling out the, the good pups first. What do you guys think? Looks pretty good, right? Nice coloration, nice spotting. Uh, the size is average size, not too big, not too small. It looks like this is a female and there is no yolk sac. The yolk sac is all absorbed. So these are full term babies. So that's one. Ah, there we go, we nudge one out. There he goes. No, 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 don't go in there. So the way I coax them out is I just have the net like brush into them a little bit and give them a little bit of nudge. I don't try to drag them or slide them. Oh, wow. These guys, this guy's got some real interesting spots. That's a very unique pattern for a black diamond maybe it's not black diamond maybe they're hybrids really big spots with like a weird shape to the spot so this could be a very unique looking fish as it gets older this is a male and there's a tiny tiny little yolk sac there nothing for us to be concerned about I would still say this is full term baby no 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 don't go over there Okay, I remember this guy. This one really caught my eye earlier when I first found the pups. And I think this one will be a really special one. Wait and see. All right, guys. Take a look at this pup, guys. And I want you guys to let me know in the comments below why I think this was the best one out of the batch. I've shown you guys enough pups for you guys to be able to figure out why I think this is the best one or why this one may be considered to be my favorite. All right? And let's check on the sex. It's a female. All right, and it's got some red marks on the underside of the disc. I don't know what that's from. Nothing on the top side. Because if I saw it on both sides, I would think maybe somebody was biting on him. Um, but I don't think that's the case. Okay, now where's that little hooktail one? Okay, right here. So, all right, before I start commenting on this piece, let's get him up and into the tray first. Hiya! Whoa. Is that wet? No. It's it's such a shame. This is also a very beautiful fish. 
maybe even better than the previous one. But you see how that tail is hooked around to the side and it wasn't developed straight. I can see the bone is all wavy. I don't know if it was cramped for space during development. Let me try to strain it out a little bit. You know, hopefully, maybe it's just cramped up. <laughs> but only time will be able to tell. As we grow this pup up, will the tail strain out a little bit? Um, I don't have this kind of thing happen too often. Uh, it's a little female and uh, no yolk sac. So we got four pups here so far. And then there's one more back there. And that is the one that's stillborn. So there's one fully developed stillborn and there's one undeveloped stillborn. Let me try to pull them at the same time here. And then we'll give you guys a look at it. Let me just pull that with my hands. Oh my goodness, look how beautiful that one was. Okay, so we got this undeveloped one here and this fully developed one here. This one kind of has a smell to it. It's a little rotten. The stomach is decayed. Uh, it's a male. Uh, oh, it looks like she's about to throw up. All right. But anyways, as you guys can see, it is a fully developed pup. It probably died not too long ago. And um, I don't know. I'm open to to you guys giving me some theories as to what might cause this because like I said a lot of this you know what I do here is just based on experience and, and trying to put together data and form um, a, a theory right so I don't know what would cause this pup to be developed almost fully developed and then die inside the mother's womb right before she's about to give birth it's really strange okay where and then and then have a bunch of nice healthy ones with it as part of the batch you know and then this one here i'm at a loss for words honestly and it's such a beautiful pup it's a shame i hate to to see something that beautiful and lose it it had interesting pattern too you see that like line right there this might have been a ray that that would have developed like a unique pattern i think it's this female right here because she looks like she has the flattest stomach out of everyone. But I don't see any signs of remating. I don't see any bite marks. And this is a, uh, a Galaxy P14 Black Diamond Hybrid. Now the other possibility is this female right here. This Thousand Island Black Diamond, right? And you see on the edge of her disc, uh, she just went under the... Let's see, here we go. She come back out. You see right there on the edge right there? There's bite marks right there okay but her belly's a little bit flat but not really flat but that's a pure black diamond and i only have a pure black diamond male in here which is this one right here okay but these pups look a bit hybridish so i would have to bet my money on it that it came from this female here which which would explain the uh the differences in in the patterns unless <laughs> another one of my conspiracy theories is unless they both drop babies at the same time uh, I seem to be like playing out that theory a little bit too much but sometimes when I see stuff that I can't explain I just try to make sense of it you know um, and, and explain to you guys as well but it's such a shame so we had two stillborns today and in the litter that was born here uh, yesterday uh, we also had one stillborn or oh, not stillborn but undeveloped embryo so that tells me that some at some point in this system uh, somewhere within the past couple of months maybe something went off and 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 caused problems in 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 development in the pregnant females we'll see if this trend continues because I should have a few more pregnant females in this system um, not this one let me see 
I think maybe that one back there is pregnant. And I think I have two pregnant ones down here. The water's kind of rippling from that guy. So anyways, we will see in, in subsequent births coming out of this system if the same trend develops. And if it does, then yes, something did go off here. Maybe exposure to chlorine because uh, all my water runs through that black uh, filter right there, which is carbon filter that strips out the chlorine. What happens quite often in the, in the well, it's spring now, or spring is coming, um, sometimes the water companies, they add a higher dose of chlorine uh, when the warm weather comes, just to help sanitize uh, the water uh, coming in. That sudden spike might have caused chlorine to be able to get past the carbon filter and into the system. That's one theory. Another theory might be just uh, bad food, you know, something that was spoiled, uh, that was fed to the fish that might have, you know, caused some, uh, um, what you call it, uh, stomach issues. You know, I, I don't know. I don't know. Enough of me talking about that. Let me give you guys another look at these beautiful pups. And then we are going to transfer it over into that same tank as, uh, as those other pups from the other day. Oh my goodness, this guy is just unreal. It's such a shame that it was born with that deformed tail. And that one is nice too, but you know, I have to say this is my favorite. And uh, I think if this one uh, does survive, I might keep it for myself just to see how these things develop. But another awesome, awesome uh, batch. Let me bring these over to the tank. Oh. Oh, he just abandoned me, so I got to do this on my own now. So let me uh, bring these fish over to the tank, and I'll be right back. All right, so here are the pups from the other day. They are doing okay. And then here are today's pups. As I said in the previous video, I would be putting them into the same tanks. Wow. They were quick to jump out of that tree. They look nice. Thank you. 